few months later after I had basically been cut, it was it was with the Pats when I had gone up for a header. My teammate kind of put uh, put a bit of weight on me, and I I, I landed wrong basically, and so. Mm. As I landed, my mom and I was like, I knew right away that I had torn my ACL, you know? So I knew it was my ACL. Like I knew for sure, because unfortunately my brother has torn his ACL three times. He's described to me how the pain feels as I landed, as I felt the pop, as I felt all the, all the sensation in my knee. I knew, I was like, wow, everything my brother just said is happening right now. So I limped, I yelled, I yelled so loud. I, I, I limped off the field. I grabbed my knee and I with my head down in defeat and just sad crying. That's just the game, man. That's, you know, at any given moment, that it can happen to you. That's just the reality. When I tell you that, when I tell you I was sad, man, I was sad. Like I was, I was like really, really, really sad. Like, you know, that's the worst news to be. Honestly, like I've said this multiple times on like my platform, man, you know, it was like, it was the best thing that's ever happened to me. Mm. It was the best thing that's ever happened to me as a, like, as a person in my, in like, you know, the best things ever happened to me. Yes, that first day I, when I found out I tore my ACL, I was defeated, I was defeated. And yes, I, I, there was always moments of like, I felt defeat like throughout my process. Day after I was crying my eyes out after knowing that I uh, tore my ACL, like I, sp I was speaking to myself. That's one thing I do a lot is I, I talk to myself to try to like organize my thoughts and really analyze what's the best route to take. So I was speaking to myself and then I was just telling myself like, look, I can either sit here and be like, God, why'd you do this to me? why me why me go through that kind of stick with that mindset throughout my process throughout my recovery process but how is that going to get me anywhere like what is that going to do it happened well i can't it, you know it happened so now what like so i can either do that i couldn't dwell on it or i can now be like all right what do i got to do to get back what do i got to do to be the to be better what do i got to do to like to make sure that i have hold of my career you know that's what that's basically that and so i'm like all right i'm gonna stick to this and i'm gonna i'm gonna figure out exactly figure out a plan i need to be on stick to that plan make sure that when i have these negative thoughts pause reflect on it and really make sure to try to find the, the opposite of those thoughts if there's a negative thought be like okay what is the opposite of this thought okay is this thing and it's a positive one all right, let me stick to this one then. And I just stick with that. So that was like really, I really developed like a positive mindset throughout this during that time. Took it more than anything. I took that injury as like, cause I'm a big believer that everything happens for a reason, mm. but like you determine what that reason is, mm. you know? I looked at it as like the reason for me getting this injury with how I was going with about everything, you know? Yes, I was working hard, wanting to get better every day, but I wasn't doing everything I could. I wasn't like looking for all the options, exhausting all the options I had. There was too many days where I took off that I didn't really want to do. I wasn't look, I wasn't really focused on recovery. I wasn't really looking at my, like, I was lifting like if I was going to be a bodybuilder, you know, like that's how I was lifting. So when I, when I got that injury, I took it as like, all right, it's a slap in the face because it's telling you that you need to get your shit together. That's basically how I took it. You need to get your shit together. If you want to, if you want to make it pro, you gotta, you gotta get, you gotta really set yourself up to be a pro and like not like you, the way you're set up is to be an amateur and that's not what you want to be. So that's how I took it. And um, yeah, so I, that's why I say it's the best thing that's ever happened to me um, because it just made me so much stronger as a person.